Hi, I'm Leanne Ely. I'm a nutritionist, a New York Times bestselling author, and some people even say I'm a life coach. I started The Daily Dish Show to share my story, my truth, and my journey to vibrancy, and to inspire others to do the same. Because it's all about grit, perseverance, and finding a way despite the odds. It's about embracing the whole woman, not just the parts that are easy to love, and feeding her heart, mind, body, and soul. But I found that this isn't just my story. It's your story too. It's go time. This is The Daily Dish. So are you ready to take some inspired action? I know you are because this is the secret of the pros. When you're trying to get, when you're trying to Uh, When you're starting to really make tracks in your life, you're starting to up level and go to the next place, the next area, the next thing that you want to do. This is the thing that's going to motivate you and keep you going. Remember how I feel about motivation and willpower. Both of them are highly overrated. What we need to do is do first and then get this, get the stuff later. We all have this expectation that we need to feel motivated before we do anything. And that's just complete garbage. We need to do something first. Then the motivation to keep going keeps keeps showing up, doesn't it? But I want you to think of inspired action as on the same level as having a gut feeling. Have you ever had a gut feeling where you knew, you knew, you knew, you knew? I mean, I can tell you story after story after story of all these times that I had a gut feeling. This was the right thing to do. This was the thing that I needed to do. This is what I wanted. Yeah, you understand that. You understand all of that. Well, when we connect to that gut feeling, we're going to follow it through because we know in our heart of hearts that that's the thing that we need to do. When we're in inspired action, it's the same kind of a connection. We have to follow through. doesn't mean that it's going to be simple, it's going to be easy, it's going to be a piece of cake, no problems, blah, 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 right? It's not true. But this is how quantum leaps are made in your life. Because look at this for a minute. This is exactly what happens. We start and we inch and inch and inch. It's an ounce, it's a pound, it's a thing, it's a that, it's a inching closer, closer and closer to your goal. Then suddenly, all of a sudden, you just go, boom, quantum leap. Because you stay consistent, because you've stayed inspired, and you've kept on the track. Now, this is what happens. And I've experienced this when I was doing my big 70-pound weight loss. Other people have experienced this when they've done their weight loss too, that you just stay the course. You stay the course. You don't go off the rails. You stay the course. You stay the course. It's not seven days. It's every day. And then all, and even when things aren't working out and you feel on a plateau or whatever, you suddenly have this whoosh effect. And I've had that over and over on repeat, where one day I just get up and four pounds are gone off the scale after it just stayed steady for a week. That's why I like tape measurements so much better, especially when you put on your jeans, you're going, what are these all about? You know, why are these so big? You know, hey, I'm not complaining. Let's just, what is all of this about? But inspired action is the way to move uh, way more than going through the motions. It's creating that quantum leap. It's more than just going through the motions. Sometimes you start in that place of going through the motions, but other times you have to go to the place of starting to really visualize it and starting to emote over it. Remember we talked about that yesterday? Emote over whatever it is that you want to, like a a preteen over a boy band. (laughs) <laughs> and I'm saying that because it's just like, ah, oh, you know, that that just the, that angst that these little preteens have and just all the emotion and crying when they see Justin Timberlake get on the stage or whatever. That's a motive right there. There's a lesson that we need to take. You know, wh- when we're the parents of the preteen and seeing this, we're just like, oh, my gosh. And but then we remember we did it, too. But there's a lesson there. Because that emoting just makes it that much more concrete in our lives. Now, we're not going to necessarily be able to hook up with Justin Timberlake, are we? But no, that emotion helps to make that connection with that very thing that we want. And that's where the magic is. And that's what also creates the momentum, by the way. 
It's incredible how that all works. Because inspired also means you've perspired, by the way. Hello, <laughs> right? Like I said, it's not magic, but it's magical. There's still work involved. There's still stuff that you need to get over. There's still obstacles in the way. There's still everything out there. But an inspired action taker is not about to allow a, all these excuses to come in and say, well, see there, I can't do it. They're not going to take an excuse. They might look at it and analyze it and say, how do I get this out of the way so that I can go forward with this? And we even go so far, right, Sarah? <laughs> As to maybe get up at four o'clock in the morning in order to make it happen. That's inspired action, my friends. <laughs> you don't sit back and go, well, I can't get up at four o'clock in the morning. No, you figure this out. It's figure outable when it's inspired. So you got to work for it, but you do it with one, the end in mind. This is how you create that, right? How do you get a create? Well, I'm going to get you more into the details of how to create inspired action. But there's several things. You, you do it because you have an end in mind. The end in mind is so different from all of us. For some women, it's like, man, I just want to get back in those jeans. For some women, it's I want to get off this medication. For some women, it's I want to feel better. I want to be able to walk without my knees killing me. Whatever your inspiration is, that's the reason why. That's your action. And by the way, that emotion comes full steam ahead if you why matrix it. Why do you want this? Why do you want your knees to not hurt? You want to be a part of the family. You want to do things together. Why do you want to get off your medication? Because it makes you feel like crap. Or you want to have a victory in your life over this one thing. I mean, you just, you decide, you make the decision, you emote over that. That's your Justin Timberlake right there, <laughs> right there. That is. So the other thing is the hot desires actually that you want to have this thing that stirs the pot over the hot. The hot desire is the stir of the pot to take inspired action. Boom. That's what makes it happen. So you want it bad, right? You want it bad. You can taste it. I want this. I see this. This is how it's going to look. This is how it's going to feel. I can smell it. I can taste it. I can see it. I can hear it. I know where I am. I know what it's going to be. I was like that with my house. I mean, I have on my, sh you know, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can even find it. It's a voice memo. Um, and it, it's probably embarrassing right now. Nope, that's not it. Voice memos. Where do they keep those? Whoops. No, I don't want to do that. Cancel. Here we go. Let me see if I can find a voice memo. I don't know if I want to do this. I might embarrass myself. I, Leanne Ely, am starting a new relationship with money today. Money. And I had a whole thing. I'm starting a new relationship with that. That was all about that, that I wasn't going to say anymore that I don't, I can't afford it. I was going to say anymore that it's in the, in the realm of possibilities. That's what that whole thing is going through. Um, and then I had a whole thing on, I've got one after the other about going and seeing the house, even though Mark kept saying, you can't, you know, we can't where it's impossible. We can't do that. The possibilities are, it's always possible. It's always figure outable. And when you start to see what the problem was, my problem was, my obstacle was, it's, I can't afford that. I can't do that. It's impossible. It's not. And I just decided I'm starting a new relationship with money. Money's a tool. And if God wants me to have this house to hold retreats and to put women on boats and to have them loved up with charcuterie boards and wine and a retreat that's going to refresh and renew their souls, it's darn well going to happen. And there's on this particular one, there was like five minutes of me going through the whole thing. And I'm not going to bore you with it. <laughs> it's so funny. But you have to get down to the why. Why? What's what? What is standing in the way of you being able to take inspired action? You know, what is it? What is it? We have to look at these things because if our why is greater than the obstacle, then we'll figure our way around or over the obstacles and maybe we'll even burrow through it because we all have obstacles. We all have something that's going to get in the way. 
that's going to present itself and say, see, you can't do it. But if you have inspired action, you're going to figure that stuff out. And it's not going to stand in your way. It's going to get you to the place right on, Sarah. We're just going to say that of getting out of your own way. Because we are the ones that are so often blocking the very thing that we want. You know, didn't get to bed soon enough. What were you doing? Were you playing on your phone, huh? watching TV? Or you got into bed and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I can't sleep, blah, 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 blah. We, we can figure this stuff out. It is figure outable. So, you know, one of the other things that I did, and this, and it's right there on that voice memo, memo, where I, I was visual, I was not only was I visualizing, I was standing in somebody in a big empty house that was on the lake right here in this neighborhood, by the way. And I said, I'm standing here, I'm looking out uh, off my deck. I'm looking off into the lake. I see my boat, all of this, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I'm, t I'm telling you, my visualization was intense in my head. And then I went out and said, I want to go experience this. So I experienced my visualization. It wasn't my house. It was, it was unaffordable, by the way. It wasn't something that we could afford. And it wasn't in the realm of possibility, but it was what I had my mind on. And I had a greater good and a greater desire to do something with it. That, by the way, everybody on September 11th was going to be here for it had it not been for COVID. What a pain in the neck that is. But, you know. But we have the tools. We have the tools to help us to visualize. We use our quote decks. So. This is this is on my quote deck from today. They who are able think they are able. They are able who think they are able. I have that one. I've got three in a row because I've been slight. I've been playing with these all day. Um, this is from yesterday. All big things come from small beginnings. The seed of every habit is a single tiny decision. This one. One needs to realize that ultimately you either get better or you get bitter and on and on and on. And you know what? That is something that I keep, I keep top of mind, everything, my vision board, my quote deck, my journal, and I write my goals every single day. You know why? Because I'm visualizing exactly what I want and I'm also determined and this is what I want for you to take such inspired action. There is no obstacle that's going to stand in your way. You will figure it out. You will allow it to go. You will drop it like it's hot because those obstacles are nothing more than, than excuses. And you know it. If you have inspired action, you know it. Because inspired action is the thing that makes you well up inside and say, yes, I did it when it's done and accomplished. It's huge. Inspired action means that you've perspired. You know this. You know this. You're using all the tools available to you. You've got your quotes out. You've got stuff all over the place. You're using your vision board. You're using your journal. You're meditating in the morning. Hot Melt 30, anyone? Does this sound familiar? Right? This is because this changes your mind. It changes your life. If you can change your thoughts and your mind, you can change your life. You can have anything that you want. Anything. You know, unless you're going to throw something stupid out. Well, I can't be an NBA player. No kidding. No, no kidding. You've got the wrong anatomy. And you're also probably too old and all this other kind of stuff. People always like to do that. But you can have anything that you want that's within the realm of possibility. Is it possible for you to have the very thing that you want that seems so out of reach? Is it? Absolutely. By taking inspired action, allowing that that to heat you out, allowing that to drop the firebombs all over you, allowing that to make you say, I will not allow a thing to stand in my way. I am going to complete this task. I am going to make this happen. It's on my vision board. It's going to happen. Pinkies up. You better believe it. Inspired. And you know what happens to your focus becomes spectacularly aligned with the very thing that you want with that one thing. When I was on my 70 pound journey, um, what I did was every time I dropped a size, I would buy the same jeans that I was buying. And I would just bought cheap jeans, right? But they fit. And I took them and I hung them on the back of my door. 
in the next size down to inspire me that I'm going to get in you one day. Those jeans, those are mine. Those are my jeans. I've got them. And it inspired me when I was going through those plateaus and shaking the box and trying to figure this whole thing out, right? Do you hear me on this? So you find the evidence to support the things that you want because your reticular activating system at this point is focusing on that solution, not on the problem, focusing on how am I going to get past this obstacle, not on the obstacle itself, and is fired up emoting like it's Justin Timberlake all over the place because you're going to get in those jeans. You're going to make it happen. I went through four sizes of jeans, by the way, on the back of my door doing this exact thing. It's just funny how it works. That consistency just made everything happen. And consistency is one of the keys to inspired action. You will be inspired because every day you know, this is working me toward my goal. This is inching me and getting me there. This is everything. And you know what? This may or may not come with an epiphany. Does it matter? I think epiphanies are overrated. But for me, you know what my epiphany was? On this whole thing, I did have an epiphany. If I just do this one thing, and if I do it every morning, that will keep me on course. It was just a personal connection that I knew that doing these things would keep me on course because of the way I'm wired. You get me? You know, I can, I will. I can, I will. I can, I will. This is my, funny enough, is my $7 sales shirt from <laughs> Old Navy that made, it, I love this shirt. Because the shirt says, this, yes, I can do it, and I will. And I will because I'm determined, I'm going forward, I'm inspired by my own vision. <laughs> and you know what's so good about that? No one had to put it in you. You've, got to, you've put it in yourself. This is your vision for your life. Yours. Yours. Beautiful, customized, absolutely spectacularly, I can't say that word, you. You. Two size jeans down after the first time I heard Leanne say that. Oh my goodness, Marianne, I'm so proud of you. So you feel happy even though you have work to do to attain it. You feel happy with this, even though maybe you're sitting there going, ah, it's nine o'clock. I've got to go. I got to do my workout or, I, you know, I'm not really excited about this right now. But you know what? I'm still going to do it. And it's going to make me happy. And at the end of it, this is what I'm going to feel like. All part of the whole emoting thing. All part of like, there's my Justin Timberlake right there. Ooh, he's going to knock on my door. <laughs> I just love this. Gloria's down three sizes after Hot Milk 30 last time. Three sizes. Hello? In a month, in 30 days, three sizes. You think this stuff works? Maybe? Come on. If you if you haven't jumped on it, it's, it's the guide is at savingdinner.com forward slash 30. Write it out. Do the numbers, whatever. Just go get it. Connie, come start. Just go get your Hot Melt 30 guide and start with us. We'll put you in the group. We will saddle up together. And I'm going to just tell you something. The inspired action comes from watching other people do and have inspired action to do the things. And how many people did I see this morning putting their, for their picture up, doing a selfie, and saying, here it is, day one, Hot Melt 30. I'm ready to go. And you know what? I, I know I know these women. I know what's going to happen. I know they're going to be taking all of this inspired action. It's going to be fire. You get excited about just getting started. Just this getting started. That's fun. Oh, my gosh. We're going to do this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know? And you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. Big time caveat on this whole thing. You are going to do this excellently. You may not do it perfectly. You might not have a day where you didn't get in all your hydration. You might have a day where you were out and is celebrating something and you had a glass of wine. If you quit on me right then because you didn't do it perfectly, I will hunt you down and grab you by the collar and bring you back in. <laughs> that is a promise. Because it's not about perfect, it's about excellent. And the more inspired action you can do with this, the more you can connect to the outcome that you want, the better it's going to go for you. Promise. Promise. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't kid you. It's everything. 
And it's all the things and it makes it all happen. And you know what? You're going to find your flow when you do this. And flow is one of those magical, mystical kind of a thing where um, it, it happens sometimes infrequently. But when you get um, focused on it, you can start to get into flow. I do this with writing. I do this with projects. I'm doing it right now with my um, with my presentation for Full Bloom. I've got a stack of books. I've got notes written everywhere. And it's a complete disaster. <laughs> but I know where everything is and I know what's going to happen. And I know the flow is, is happening as I put this together. And I'm doing it in a way that's inspired action. You know, we all have that. We have that for everything that we do, for the things that we want most. Because my goal at the end for uh, Full Bloom is to show up fully and to give you everything that I've got and to have it be something that's going to land in you and just light you up. That's my goal. And I see that. I feel it. I'm a moat, a moat over it. You know, I cry over it sometimes. You understand what I'm talking about. That's my goal. That's my job. And I love it. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I, what I'm saying. You can find your flow. And you know what? Can I give you another little thing? It might be a little bit scary. It might be outside of your comfort zone. It might be just freaking you out a little bit. Like, I've never done this before. I don't, you know, I just don't know. Maybe there's a little struggle involved. Maybe there's just like Connie said, I just don't, I don't know where to start. That's okay. Can I just can I just hold you in a big hug right now, virtual hug, and say it's okay if you don't know where to start. The whole point is to start with us and to be with your people. You know, your community is is one of the your biggest assets. You know, these are the people who are gonna are doing the same thing that you are on the same page and have experienced it before, and are going to say it's okay, girlfriend. Hold my hand. I'm with you. I'm supporting you. I want you here. But you do all of this anyway. You go forward anyway. Shampoo, rinse, repeat. Shampoo, rinse, repeat. You know why? Because it's worth it. You know what else? You're worth it. Right, Noreen? She says, together we can do it. And she is 100% right. And you know what this is? This energizes you like nothing else. Have you noticed that? When you're taking this kind of action, when you're emoting over, it is so energizing. It is so everything. And it makes you feel so good because you can see what could be. You've got that just snap into your, into your mind's eye. You know what could be. You know the possibilities. You know the power of those genes sitting on the back of your door. You know the power of making a voice memo and saying, here I am standing on this on the deck of my new house, and this is what's going to happen, and this is the events we're going to have, and these are my ladies, and these are my people, and I love them. You know all of this is how this whole thing works. So I'm going to take you now. If you feel like, okay, I'm, I'm pumped. But I don't know where to begin and how do I take inspired action when I don't feel like it? You know, maybe that happens. So I'm going to take you through and give you some things that you can do. I've got seven things. Deal? Number one is give yourself five minutes or just put on your costume or your shoes or whatever it is that you need to do in order to do the thing that you need to do. I do this every single day except Sunday with my workout clothes. My workout clothes are on the chair ready for me to go. On Sunday, sometimes I will spend the whole day in my pajamas if I feel like it, because Sunday's my day off. Sometimes it's just to put on my bathing suit and a cover up and go on the boat, right? But I'm not working out usually, I'm almost never. No, not on Sundays, that's a rest day. And there you go. That costume, that costume change, I turn into a different person. I am an athlete when I have my costume on and athletes work out. Athletes have schedules. Athletes train at the table and in the gym. That's me. So give it or give it five minutes, just five minutes of doing the thing. If you're trying to write something or you are on a project or trying to create something, whatever it is that you're trying to do, 
give it, then give yourself five minutes. I'm going to sit down for five minutes disciplined at my computer, not going to look at social media. I'm going to write, going to do this, going to do whatever it is that I need to create a new schedule, do something, but inspired action follows through and doesn't say, Oh, I was inspired, but now I'm not. So I'm not going to No. Number two, your why is your true North. I, we've talked about this. Why do you want this? Right? Why? It could be something as small, like I said, as I want smaller jeans or I don't want to, I want to feel good in my skin or I want to take less medication or I'm tired of the pain. Whatever your why is, that's how we work you to that. You keep asking the why till you get down to the, to, to the nitty gritty. And I'm going to tell you this too, because I'm a crier sometimes, you know, and I like to emote as much as I can with it because I understand that it, that attaches emotion, the emotions attach to the ideal of what it is that you want and helps to make it more real. But when you do this, when you connect, when you focus, when you see your why, when you visualize, you're not the same. You're not the same because you can actually feel it, taste it, see it, want it. I say go experience it like I did. Go to an open house or ask a realtor to take you to a house that's just completely out of out of reach. You know, do it. Or whatever it is that you need to do. The point is that when we do this, it connects us to the why and it makes it that much more real. <laughs> you know, and doing all the things, using your journal and writing your goals every day. How powerful is that? Using your, your mindful mug to look at this and say, yeah, I've got grit, not quit. Because here you are, another meal, another meal down, down the drain here, another meal that you've accomplished where you've stayed the course, right? You went off the, you didn't go off the rails. You made a decision for yourself. All of this just adds up and adds up and adds up and it creates, it creates for you the momentum that you need. And the magic of momentum is un believable. One domino down and all they go down. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Number um, three is sometimes you need to take a breather. I take Sundays. I intentionally take Sundays and I'm just an absolute nothing on Sundays. You know, sometimes I don't even put the dishes in the dishwasher immediately. And that's like a weird thing for me. You know, I make the bed halfway. I don't put up all the pillows. But Sunday is just the day of just getting minimal done, you know, keeping the house. I, I don't like having a messy house, but I also don't like having to do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to run the vacuum. I'm not going to be doing any of this stuff. I'm going to be resting and taking care of myself. So everybody needs to do that. Self-care, take a bath, you know, take put a mask on your face, whatever. But make sure that you make time for that. Number four is to read. Read, 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 read a book, read your quotes, um, read the posts in our, our group. If you want inspiration, read some success stories. Hello, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, Marguerite. I'm talking to Joanne. Everybody has success stories in there. And they, they posted their before and after picture. It's so inspiring to read those. And if you don't, you know, y'all who are here that have, and Jocelyn has one. Go ahead and find your post and repo and in there. You don't have to repost again. Just find it and just say bump in the comments and it'll bump it up to the top of the feed. Everyone needs to see that. We need to hear it. We need to see it. We need to feel inspired by your success. Show me, you know, show me what you got. Do it. And number seven, um, number six is move it because when we move, we feel better. It's, it's just natural. Our bodies have endorphins. They have the feel good hormones coming. All of it happens and it's for a good reason. It supports the body that you want to have, that you want to live in, that you'll feel better in. And number seven is taking any kind of action is important. Sometimes it's, there's no inspiration there, but if you start sprinkling in just a little bit of emotion and start visualizing and you get out your vibrant vision board. Um, you want to experience what it feels like to be inspired. And this is what happens. This is how you get to that place. And I'm going to say that this is to me just like cooking. You know, when you're cooking and you've got a recipe or whatever, and I will tell you, I will go to the place of letting you know. Um, number five was success stories. See the hot milk sprint group. 
Number six is move it. I kind of, I kind of put read and success stories together. Sorry. <laughs> but all of these things kind of, and, and Jocelyn, go put, go put five and six success stories and then move it. Okay. Move it is, is number six. Um, I want you to, Jocelyn, go ahead and, and bump up your story. Your story is important. Noreen's story is important. Marguerite and Sarah's story, all of them in there, inspirational. And it does make you go, oh, well, if they can do it, so can I, right? Connect to that. So, but when we're taking any kind of an action or whatever, and we start to sprinkle in a little bit of emotion and start visualizing a little bit, start using our tools, start writing our goals down every day, all of that. Have you noticed it's, it is like cooking. Now, here you go. This is a bold statement. I'm going to say it anyway. And that is, um, Julia Child had a, has a boeuf bourguignon. <laughs> boeuf bourguignon. That's my Julia Child imitation. But she poached the bacon. Who poaches bacon? I didn't poach the bacon. I cooked the bacon and I made the recipe better. Sorry. I know somebody's going to just say, how dare she? I mean, it's just almost blasphemous, right? But that's how what cooking is. You discover a way to make it so you make the flavors go out. You you put all of the little things on. You sprinkle a little bit more salt. You add double garlic. That's me. Whatever it is that you do, you make your cooking come alive. This is the recipe that I'm giving you for inspired action to make your life come alive and to get you to the place of inspired action so that as a pro, you are all over this and you're making your goals happen right before your eyes. See how this is? It's not just one thing. It's all the things and all the things together. It's kind of like beef and bacon and a little red wine, some shallots, garlic. Yeah. Beef bourguignon. Delicious recipe, by the way. And you can have a delicious life simply by putting these components together in your own recipe, right? You can better my recipe. You can. You just do it customized for you. That's what this is all about. So I want you to remember, keep going. Do not quit on yourself ever. And remember this, you've got grit, not quit. Am I right? Pinky's up. It's not too late to join us for the Hot Milk 30. Today's day one. Go get the guide and get started. Savingdinner.com forward slash 30. It's a $27 investment in yourself. And you are going to be in the most spectacular place with the most amazing women ever. Pinky up, ladies. Let's go do this. Happy Wise Women's Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me today. You can find me on TikTok for daily tips to help support your most vibrant life. And remember, you are the author of your own story. Until next time.